Welcome everybody. We got a question. We are expected to integrate integral 0 to infinity sin x over x times dx. Now I have already done two video lessons on this particular integral. The only thing is that the limits are a little bit different. But the methods that I have used in the so called previous video lessons are totally different. One I have for one particular video lesson, I have used the Finman's technique. For the other particular video lesson, dealing with this type of integration, I have used Laplace transforms. Now, in this case, I am going to show you a method. So, this particular question would be solved using integration by parts. So, we will solve this using integration by parts right so that would mean you have more methods in your arsenal to deal with complex situations so having mentioned that what I wish to do is foremost let us start with a beautiful word consider so let me just consider integral 0 to infinity sin x over x times dx I'm going to rewrite this as integral 0 to infinity sin x multiplied with 1 over x which in turn is multiplied with dx now what I wish to do is I would like to rewrite 1 over sin x so let us consider 1 over x so I would be rewriting 1 over x so 1 over x can be represented as negative e raised to the power of negative x times t divided by x the limits are 0 to infinity right I can rewrite 1 over x in this fashion now what happens this is for your understanding if I were to substitute the upper limit this is going to be negative e raised to the power of negative now the variable under consideration is t so the limits are going to be substituted for t so I am substituting infinity for t, x is retained, upper limit minus lower limit. So it's going to be negative e raised to the power of, there's a negative sign there. In place of t you substitute 0 followed by x and you have a denominator as x. Now what happens here, e raised to the power of negative infinity. This is going to be 0 and what happens here e raised to the power of negative 0 that's going to give you 1 of course 0 times x is going to be 0 so e raised to the power of 0 is going to be 1 so you have a negative sign here and a negative sign and this is 1 over x and ultimately you are going to get 1 over x fair enough right so this representation holds good now how did I get this representation I got this representation by integrating e raised to the power of negative x times dt uh, x times t times dt now if you were to integrate this what do you get you would get e raised to the power of negative x t divided by the coefficient of t is negative x so you place the negative x there and this can be further rewritten as negative e raised to the power of negative x times t divided by x right now I need to have the limits 0 to infinity so just place the limit 0 to infinity 0 to infinity so now I have got a new representation for 1 over x so wherever I see 1 over x I'm going to represent it by integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power of negative x times t times d so let me go on to the original problem so this is how I have written this can be further rewritten as integral 0 to infinity sin x times 0 to infinity e raised to the power of use this quantity negative x times t times dt times dx now what I wish to do is I would like to change the order of integration now to change the order of integration the integrand must be continuous now clearly these two are continuous functions so because of that fact I can shift the order of integration so what I wish to do is I would like to move this out 0 to infinity 
and flip this so this is going to be dx right and bring this inside so it's going to be integral 0 to infinity sin x times e raised to the power of negative x times t and you place dt outside so this is what we have got now I will have to integrate this so we have got this integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity sin x e raised to the power of negative x times t dx times the dt this is what we have got now what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate this quantity first now this is a function of x and this is a function of t so t is a constant here so I have that in mind so what I would do is I will take this quantity first so consider i to be equal to or you can say let instead of saying consider you can say let i to be equal to integral 0 to infinity sin x e raised to the power of negative x times t times dx over here let me take u to be equal to e raised to the power of negative x times t I differentiate this I get e raised to the power of negative x times t the coefficient of x is negative t and you have to place the differential operator fair enough now let me take dv to be equal to sin x dx I integrate both sides uh, integral of dv is v integral of sin x is negative cos x so my quantity what is the quantity i is equal to formula uv uv negative integral v du is equal to my u is e raised to the power of negative x times t my v is negative cos x the limits are 0 to infinity negative my v is negative cos x so this is going to be positive so cos x my du you got a negative sign here place that e raised to the power of negative x t times dx now I can rewrite this as negative t is a constant take that out limits are 0 to infinity and you get integral 0 to infinity cos x e raised to the power of negative x times t times dx over here you substitute the upper limit you get e raised to the power of negative infinity which will produce you 0 now you substitute the lower limit there is a negative sign here so negative of negative will become positive and you substitute 0 e raised to the power of 0 is 1 cos 0 is 1 so you get 1 there now on the left I got 1 now what I wish to do is I would like to integrate this quantity again inter by integration by path so let me take this as say some maybe 2 right consider integral 0 to infinity cos x e raised to the power of negative x times t times dx excuse me so now what I wish to do is I would like to take apply integration by parts again so in this case let u be equal to e raised to the power of negative x times t and my dv be equal to cos x you differentiate this you get e raised to the power of negative x times t the coefficient of x is negative t so you place negative t there you integrate this you get v integral of cos x will produce sin x so come back here you have to use integration by path so uv negative integral v du which is nothing but my u is e raised to the power of negative x times t my v is sin x the limits are 0 to infinity my v is sin x my du is negative t right negative t times e raised to the power of negative x times t I need to place that differential operator dx so dx so this is what I've got now you substitute the upper limit this is going to be 0 you substitute the lower limit this is also going to be 0 so you get 0 negative negative positive integral I'm going to write this as sin x times e raised to the power of 
negative x times t times dx. The t is constant. So you place that constant outside. So what is this? This is nothing but integral 0 to infinity cos x e raised to the power of negative x times t times dx. So this value has been evaluated. So in place of this you substitute this. So go back to 2. So what have you got? You have got i to be equal to 1. This is negative t integral 0 to infinity cos x times e raised to the power of negative x times t times dx. Now in place of this we substitute this. Right? So this is equal to 1 negative t. What is this? This is t times integral 0 to infinity. 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity. Sin x times e raised to the power of negative x times t dx. Right? I am not evaluating this. Why? What is this exactly? What did we do? We took i to be equal to integral 0 to infinity sin x e raised to the power of negative x times t times dx. Right? So this is nothing but i. So 1 negative negative uh, I should say t t is t gives us t squared negative into positive will be negative. So this is t squared and what is this? This is i. What do you got on the left? You got i. You move this to the left. So you get i positive t squared times i is equal to 1 take i out, you get 1 positive t squared is equal to 1. Therefore, i is equal to 1 over 1 positive t squared. So, this is the value for i. Now, if you would remember, I took I took this quantity, right? I took this quantity as i. And what is this quantity? This quantity is nothing but this quantity which is present as the inner integral. So now what I wish to do is if I were to take this as 1 I would like to take the value of i which I've got here and I'm going to substitute it over here. Right? So that's what I'm going to do. So therefore 1 can be rewritten as so what is 1? 0 to infinity 0 to infinity sin x times e raised to the power of negative x times t times dx times dt. So in place of this I'm going to substitute this. So this is equal to integral 0 to infinity 1 over 1 positive t squared times dt. Now what is this? This is tan inverse of t 0 to infinity. Substitute the upper limit tan inverse of infinity negative tan inverse of 0 what is tan inverse of negative? Uh, what tan inverse of infinity? That's pi over two. What is tan inverse of zero? That's going to be zero. And what is the final answer? Pi over two. So what does this mean? This means we have just evaluated integral zero to infinity sine x over x dx to obtain the value pi over two units. And what is the method did we use? We used integration by parts. So this is a beautiful question and we have used the third method to solve this question. Thank you everybody. Please like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.